The food truck was good, but then Daniel and Leroy Rodriguez started talking to Freddie Killo, who's in economic development with the city of Marion. They told her, We like hanging out, we like doing what we love, but we need to go to the next level. I said, I can help you with that. So we enrolled them in our entrepreneur class. They did a business plan. So when this space became available, they were ready to move in it. So from there, they opened up in this business and have just become a mainstay in downtown Marion. Yeah, they're mainstays, but the brothers are still cool with their sort of piratical skull logo. And from the skull, it was only a short step to Frankenstein's monster. In this case, a quirky name for a quesadilla delivering an entire monster-sized lunch. Frank and Dia playing off Frankenstein and quesadilla. Chicken, shrimp, steak, and all kinds of yummy stuff on it. And uh, I said, hey, that's like almost like a Mexican version of a Supreme Pizza. He said, no, man, that's a Mexican calzone. It lives! It lives! The burrito torpedo explodes with flavor, beginning with al pastor, or shepherd-style slices of spit-roasted meat. And then think cilantro, think pineapple, think lime. Meat and fruit, boom. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. These carnitas, pork tacos, really get my juices flowing. And would you look at the hefty hunks of avocado on those things? I am crazy about carnitas because they're pork. Enough said about that, and I'm even crazier about the salsa verde. Also a huge fan of avocado. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Cilantro, onions, all the right stuff to put on carnitas. Mmm, wow. It seems like the majority of Mexican restaurants in North Carolina were started by someone relocating from somewhere else. But you've, you've been around. We've been here 20 years. We've been here for a while. But, you know, our roots come from Texas, and that's where all the recipes and everything come from. So we put all that little extra detail, flour tortillas made from scratch, so all that little extra detail that we put into it makes us a little bit different than everybody else. Having run a food truck gives Daniel and Leroy an appreciation for the value of crossover type foods. They know customers sometimes just want all those Mexican flavors and textures, say the black beans for example, to work their magic on something as basic as a steak sandwich. The steak torta has a name that always makes me think of a pie, you know, like a tort, and it's actually about as big as a pie, but it's a sandwich of course. It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. Most anyone will want to try one of Burrito Brothers specialty coolers like the one featuring cold watermelon juice, especially if they're a North Carolinian who's ever enjoyed a cool watermelon when they got done putting in tobacco. So we influenced you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we cut that every morning. We mix it together and we chop it up. and It's mix. just right. Just right. Just, just right. right. <laughs> And whether you've learned to say just right, McDowell County style, or in another accent, that's exactly what Burrito Brothers is. Burrito Brothers is at 9 North Main Street in Marion, and they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. For more information, give them a call at 828-559-0643 or find them on Facebook.